The clock is ticking for firefighters as North Andros is in the grips of a forest fire swiftly engulfing much of his settlement. With flames spreading rapidly, officers and volunteers are battling against limited resources and shifting winds to contain the day's old blaze. This as the area representative tells our Devonte Hanna, an appeal has been made for more equipment to be transferred to the island to wrestle what he describes as the worst forest fire spread ever seen in Andros. A raging forest fire has inundated North Andros with smoke, becoming a threat to residents and the wildlife in its path. It kept burning more and more until the wind shift and it was going this way. Now the wind shift this way and it's coming back this way. So the whole place get caught fire down the back here. Man, yesterday you wouldn't believe it, you couldn't even see. The inferno, believed to be due to natural causes, has quickly spread across several settlements on the northern tip of the island, according to area representative the Honorable Leonardo Lightburn. International reports even suggesting the smoke could be tampering with the air quality in Florida. This is beyond the largest we've seen. It. Uh, it's in Kong Song, we saw it in, in the streets of Nichols Town, uh, Red Bay Roads, uh, here in Morgan's Bluff. So at one time it used to be strictly on the highway, but now we've seen it more and more communities are being affected. Now authorities say that small fires like the one that you see here behind me have been popping up for the past 13 days. They said that it all started on Good Friday during the Easter weekend. Today, authorities have sent firefighters from the capital to help tame the blaze with limited resources and they say that they are hopeful that more is on the way. He's spoken with the commissioner of police and then uh, he's going to assess what's happening on the ground to his officers here and we let him know that we need to send more trucks or perhaps if we could have the situation uh, mediated as soon as possible. With just one fire truck, firefighters and community volunteers have quickly sprung into action to contain the blaze and despite reports of evacuations, Island Administrator Beverly Larimore and Police Chief Broadby Stiles says it's nothing North Androsians have dealt with before. Some persons are just saying, okay, it's a forest fire. Some persons whose houses are being impacted are a little worried. The members in this community who rose to the occasion, because anytime the fire threatened one of the homes or any other property, the persons who have heavy equipment, tractors, they came out and they cleared around the property to make sure of create that fire break. With no injuries, loss of life or property damage, Assistant Superintendent Alexander Kemp charged the way forward. So we're going to do a lot of smoke management because it's the smoke now be, from what we already be able to ascertain that's causing some irritation to the residents and the businesses in the, in the Andrus communities. And in the coming days, authorities anticipate more boots will be on the ground as well as more fire trucks. But for now, firefighters on the ground are doing the best they can. From Morgan's Bluff for the Bahamas tonight, I'm Devon Tejano. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.